Good afternoon and welcome to a sunny Sunday evening on the south coast. A clash which saw these two teams not separated by much at the end of last season, but this season brings about a brand new, fresh perspective and hopefully for both a season looking up rather than looking over your shoulder. Brighton and Hove Albion welcome Tottenham Hotspur to the Amex. An opportunity to continue on from what has been a fantastic weekend of WSL football already on FA Player. An opportunity perhaps for one of these two teams to show that there'll be a bigger gap between the two this season. An opportunity for Melissa Phillips to on a strong Brighton Hove Albion side. Nikki Everard on loan from Chelsea starts in goal. Poppy Pattinson in a back four. Vicky Lasada with the armband on, and of course Elizabeth Turland, the leading light in terms of attacking presence for Brighton Hove Albion. As for the visitors, Tottenham Hotspur are still, of course, without Bethany England, which means different look to a front three of Grace Clinton, Marta Thomas and Celine Bizet leading the line. Drew Spence in the middle of the park and Molly Bartrip with the armband on for Tottenham Hotspur this afternoon. Head of every fixture this weekend in the Barclays Women's Super League. Black armbands will be worn and there will be a minute's silence to remember the innocent victims of the devastating events in Israel and Palestine. Our thoughts are with them, their families and friends and with all the communities who are affected by this ongoing conflict. Prior to kickoff, we will have a moment of silence to pay the respects of the league, both teams involved and everybody, of course. Wonderfully observed, as of course it has been all weekend long in the Barclays Women's Super League and the Barclays Women's Championship and the FA National League as well. 
Tottenham Hotspur will get us underway then this afternoon. In their shade of not quite a grey, is it? Or a stone. They'll be hoping to put on a stone like performance in defence. Pulls through at the other end. Drew Spence and Molly Bart trip who get us underway. And we're back to the Spurs skipper as it's thrust forward immediately. Nudged in field. Opportunity now for Drew Spence on the far side. An early corner for the visitors. Opportunity for a couple of players to nudge their way forward and an early sighting at goal. Checking and headed away. Not fully clear though. Until now. Bar trip who can. Start again, sweeping it all the way back to Becky Spencer. I'll be hoping that it's a different story for Brighton and Hove Albion in this fixture, considering the last time they met on home soil for the Seagulls ended in an 8 0. Spurs win their heaviest ever defeat in the Women's Super League and Tottenham's biggest ever win to match that as well. Over some of the summer acquisitions, including uh, with the ball in her gloves at the moment, Nikki Everard. Not to have changed the fortunes for Brighton defensively, certainly. There's Thor Stottick. Pattinson, although nipped in and an opportunity perhaps for Tottenham to start building. Hooked away. Grace Clinton could really get her studs on the ball and do too much with it. Here's Neville. And Turland trying to find Zigiotti. turn from Molly Bartrip. Here is Ashley Neville. And to the feet of Clinton. Cuts and field and finds Drew Spence, although flag is up for offside. Fired in towards Katie Robinson. Here is Robinson. Trying to release Turland early. Unable to on that occasion. Bar trip. And Spencer. Teams were fairly inseparable last season for large periods. That 8 0 scoreline didn't really tell the story in terms of league position. Just two points separated the both. And towards the end of the season, both teams were in need of results to just secure their survival and help yourself up for the next season. Obviously, it was Reading in the end who succumbed to the drop. This season, there are certainly a number of teams who have invested in the summer and feel the amount of optimism coming into this season. Spurs, of course, good win against Bristol City a week ago. And they'll have another corner here. Grace Clinton wins the corner off of Guru Bergsund. Also coming into it after a very impressive 6-0 win in the week against Reading in the Conti Cup number of changes from that team today naturally as you'd expect but very 
confident, dominant display. They certainly have taken a lot from the 2-1 defeat to Tottenham uh, to Chelsea on the opening day as well. Plenty in this for Tottenham Hotspur, and here is an opportunity for Summoning to deliver. Towards the far post. It's headed away, but not fully away. It's a driven shot as well. Still bobbling around. Is the chance over? Maria Thoris Dottier who got in the way. One or two optimistic cries for a penalty from Tottenham Hotspur players. Referee unmoved. Home fans absolutely unwavering in their definitive response to that claim as well. Here's Pattinson. Looking to improve on their last home outing. Also welcomed a team from the capital when West Ham United turned up. Nico Ueki's second half winner, which turned out after Smith had opened the score in a 2 0 defeat. But again, a, a close game in that one, and an awful performance from Brighton and Hove Albion. A good 3 0 win away in the week in its championship opposition in Birmingham in the Conti Cup. We're looking again to continue on from that. Both teams coming into it off the back of some very impressive performances in the week. Hopefully should give us a good evening's worth of football here on the south coast. It's Drew Spence. Oh, Simmons. Oh, to step in though, and now Turland. Amazing Simons is an opportunity for Pattinson to stride down the left-hand side. It took a deflection. It will be a Brighton throw-in. Bremer on the ball. Still going, Bremer. A little trickery to win the corner. Opportunity for Brighton to strike first. Just a nudge under seven and a half minutes played here at the Amex. Masada, the only Brighton player in shot that you can see, just lurking on the edge of the area. And their laces up, but then it's been bobbles out. An in swing, it's ahead of by Turland, and Brighton and Hove Albion lead. Wonderful in swing and delivery, and Brighton's leading goal scorer gets another. She's been in fantastic form in 2023. Elizabeth Turland add that one to the list. Great header, Brighton lead. Wonderful in-swinging delivery. The near post and for so well to just glance it on into the far corner. It's a fantastic finish. And a player who has made a real impact since arriving on the south coast continues to grow that growing potential fantastic finish Brighton lead by a goal to nil so there will be no repeat of that 8-0 drubbing here last season might have started well Tottenham now Immediately looking to respond. Here's Summoning. Sprays it wide, looking for Ashley James. Marta Thomas now at back in field. And Marta Bula. Spence. Intercepted. Osada. Bar trip. Yeah. 
Spence lets it run. Spence unable to get on the end of it. And Robinson into Simons. Pattinson. Everard Bergson pops it out looking for Charlie Rule lovely ball in field and now Katie Robinson this is where Brighton fans want to see her driving at the defence actually Neville does well though between Neville and Bartrip able to deal with the threat the ever pressing presence of Katie Robinson Excellently worked on back there by Pattinson, but Ashley James also does well to step across and win it back. And that is a lovely first touch as well. Thrust forward. Now could be an opportunity to continue building. Driven low, is it going to fall to... Very nearly fell to Simons. Bit scrappy, but Spurs can break away with it. Here's Bizet. Into Thomas. Oh, to Thomas does really well, looking again for Celine Bizet. Lasada taking no chances, it's hooked clear. Bar trip. Summoning back to Bar trip. Rolls in field. Clinton intercepted. Charlie Rawl done really well there. Losada. Dangerous pass. And between Bergson and then Rostotti can lash it up. It's very not. It's not very clear at all. It is now though. Here's Maisie Simons. Losada. Intercepted by Drew Spence, wants a foul, not given. Here's Clinton, going to strike from range. Never really troubling Nicky Everard, a bit off balance when it was struck actually as well, Grace Clinton, so. Still Brighton have the advantage, 13 minutes played here at the Amex. Elizabeth Turland on the score sheet again. Be very pleasing to see goals fans. Fantastic second half of the season since arriving at Brighton. Another goal for the player they will hope can fire them to a successful season in the WSL. Here is Turland. Boris Dottier. Nicky Everard. And now Guro Bergsorn. Simon's getting on the ball a lot for Brighton in these opening stages. Here's Vicky Losada. Clinton stuck to the task well and wins the ball back. Now his possession. Shrugs away from Charlie Rule. Now Turland's going to strike a goal. It's a good save from Becky Spencer. Needed to be held. Artinen. 
a lovely pass to Drew Spence. Bit of space now for Drew Spence. Well, it's behind Clinton. She can retain it, though. Neville has continued her overlapping run, but instead makes the going field to summon him. Back to Bar Trip. As well to keep it in play. James. Robinson and Rule for changing and Bar Trip thunders the header out. Another big test. In fact, it's quite a daunting run of fixtures for Brighton, which we'll come back to after this because Drew Spence is trying to surge forward and latch on to the end of Grace Clinton's pass, although it's dealt with and referee disinterested in Brighton's calls for a foul. Somehow Grace Clinton retains possession. Although Spence and Clinton there a little bit of confusion between the two Tottenham players. And you look at the run of fixtures for Brighton and well, up next is Chelsea at Kings Meadow. Here's Pauline Bremer first though. Still going. Well defended. Hooked clear out. Out to safety. In fact, she's conceded a free kick. Here you look at the run of fixtures. Chelsea away from home up next then. They welcome Manchester United to the south coast before a trip to Manchester in return. But this time to face the blue half of Manchester. Manchester City who won 5-0 against Bristol today before returning home for a fixture against Arsenal. So Chelsea, Manchester United, Manchester City and Arsenal all to come. They don't get much tougher, much bigger in terms of a testing run of fixtures than that for Melissa Phillips' Brighton. So anything today will be welcomed with open arms, certainly after already securing their first win of the season. If the second were to come in the space of three games, that would be a very, very welcome. Bit of breathing room before that difficult test. Tottenham, on the other hand, have got a tricky run of fixtures themselves, but a different perspective. One of the perceived big hitters for a little while. And anyway, they've got Aston Villa up next before Everton and Liverpool both at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium in a matter of just seven days for a trip to Leicester City who are one of the most improved sides in the WSL the past nine or ten months. They've been fantastic the first two thirds of the year. In fact, so much so, I saw a statistic a couple of days ago that only Chelsea and Manchester City had taken more WSL points than Leicester City in 2023. So tells you just how good a job Willie Kirk has been doing at the King Power. However, for the moment, eyes firmly fixed on this one. Here is Lana Buller to Molly Bartrip. Spence. Now Clinton trying to drive at Rule and gets past Charlie Rule. Guro Bergson had to be alive. Concedes the corner. Really good driving run from Grace Clinton, a player that certainly can make a real difference. 
for this Tottenham side. Drew Spence with the corner. Martin runs up and up the training ground. It'll pop back to Spence. Driven low. Defended well over Bergsund. Headed back into a dangerous area. They're coming together there between Neville and Simons. And it's a free kick actually that's gone Spurs way, is it? Yeah, free kick. Evelina, Summonin can take. Melissa Phillips, deep in thought. Sure she'll be pleased with the opening 20 minutes from her team. However, it's very nearly undone by George Spence and a quick thinking free kick from Tottenham Hotspur. Bartrip nodded forward. And the Spurs skipper again. Martinin pops it out to Neville. Spence for support instead tries to find Clinton but gets a second attempt of it this time does use Spence Bartrip sweeps the ball across to Manabula it's Thomas intercepts it goes straight to Hove Albion shirt Pattinson. It's put beneath Bremer a little bit, but she gets a second attempt at it. Bergson's slice clearance is going to stay in, I think, for Celine Bizet, who's just going to. was trying to play on, but it did run out of play. Just inches in that one, but it will be another corner for Tottenham Hotspur. to BZ. Driven low. Bergson turns it behind for another corner. And someone in to take again. Evelina Summonen. Plenty of options for her to aim for in the box. Stood up towards the far post. It's Neville still bobbling around. Frantic from both teams. There'll be another corner. Nobody able to get any real purchase on the ball. It was just popping around. First head up it's from Spence, then Neville. He's tried to be hooked clear by Zigiotti. Finally, nodded out by Clinton. Another corner. Bergson equal to it this time. James pops it back out to Summonen. Drives in field, shoulder to shoulder with Lasada. Referee feels that the Brighton captain has fouled. Evelina Summonen. Taken quickly, Bizet. Deep in, deep in conversation with James, who is asking a question as to why they weren't allowed to take a quick free kick. Opportunity now to set one up though. 24 minutes on the clock here at the Amex. Still Brighton lead by goal to nil. Elizabeth Turland with the opener for the, for the hosts. He's summoning. Deep whip towards the far post. It's kept in somehow by Neville. Can Brighton try and produce a counter attack. Not on this occasion. Rule just lusts it forward. It's instead returned. Now 
Neville. Bar trip. Only bar trip as the supporters trying to get behind the home team. They do have the advantage still. There's James into Summonen. Overlapping run of Clinton is ignored because it's like it's just launched towards the far post. It was Bizet who was the target. Swooping in at the far post. Inches away from connecting. Clever play from Clinton. They're on loan from Manchester United. Everard. It's to be said that the business that Brian and Albion have done in the summer go unnoticed and exceptional players brought in Shall we will be in one Matthew Everard of course on loan from Chelsea having joined the champions in the summer and nearly a chance for Turin to potentially double her advantage but Lasada another player on the ball there a huge acquisition I mean Someone, a player that's got experience with Manchester City, with Arsenal, with Barcelona, with the Spain national team as well. Now wearing the armband at Brighton, a wonderful, wonderful addition. Coming via Roma, of course. And we're going to throw in. A team with lofty ambitions. All developing very nicely under Hope Powell before things started to unravel a little bit. Melissa Phillips now firmly in command and an excellent coach she is to lead this Brighton Hove Albion team into the new year, into the new season, the new era. His bar trip. That's an under pressure. Arsenal does win the free kick and someone who wants to restart proceedings immediately. Here's Bar Trip. Popped in for Clinton. Tackle from Lasada. Martinen. Back to Neville. Bar Trip. Clinton again. Molly Bartrip. An opportunity for Bizet. Driving at Pattinson. Celine Bizet. Pattinson stuck to a task. Immaculately. Zigliotti tries to clear, but Marta Thomas is in the way. Hooked clear by Bremer. There's a foul on Turland. Chance perhaps to slow proceedings down a little bit. The hosts, of course, still in the lead. Perhaps need a momentary break from continued Hotspur pressure. Morris Dottier. Another summer acquisition joining from Manchester United. Charles Artinen. Wriggling away. Gives the ball to Spence. Here's Bizet. Number two to aim for in the box. Husband can only find Doris Dottier. Artin and still going. Still dragging away. Bizet stands one up towards the far post. It's going to come all the way through for Neville. Turns it straight in as well. 
of the movement to create half a yard to then hook it in with the left foot. for Celine Bizet but intercepted here's Neville Bergson just shepherds it out of play we goal kick to Brighton Tottenham needing to dip into the market in the summer. A few big players, big personalities leaving. Keris Harrop, of course, retiring, which was a, a huge one for the football club to have someone as dependable, experienced, and an all time great of women's football in this country. A WSL leading appearance maker. So to bring in the likes of Anna Bula and Olga Artin and Marta Thomas, of course, from Manchester United. There's a little bit of experience as well, a little bit of know-how in the WSL. We've really seen how important they, those three in particular, have been restarting this afternoon, of course. Now a chance for Brighton to potentially counter. Trying to sweep it into the path of Casey Robinson, but Ashley Neville's there. It's James. pressure and Bremer wins the ball back and Robinson it's going to be struck from distance from Lasada. looks like that one was creeping in though long way out Vicky Lasada, but lined up struck it well made sure that Becky Spencer was being kept honest in the Spurs goal Spence. Becky Spencer just disguising the pass there and finds Molly Bar trip instead of thumping it forward. Brighton's press is vicious though and very nearly won the ball back. But now there's space in behind for Celine Bizet. Chris here immediately on her toes though. Is Jen punched into a really good area? Thomas. That's a chance for a player of Marta Thomas's quality. Really good play from Spurs, though, just finding some opening up gaps in that Brighton back line and looking to make them pay, but fortunately, Marta Thomas unable to hit the target on that occasion. Fantastic start to life at Tottenham Hotspur, of course. Two and two. Thomas since arriving from Manchester United in the summer. Pattinson has him intercepted by Bizet and drags down Celine Bizet. The first player to go into the thoughts of the referee. For a second, she may have been reaching for a card, but just a warning on this occasion. Another opportunity for Evelina Summoning to wind one up, try and create something as we approach the 34th minute here at the Amex. A short instead to James, stands up towards the far post, and it's a creative header from Spence. and a half behind her, she had to really reach back to try and flick it on towards goal, but able to find a teammate or frame of the goal. Everard. Hit her on by Summon. Neville's there. And the pressure from Robinson. Robinson. 
Spencer. Bartlett again. Passage of play from Tottenham Hotspur then to give Ashley Neville a free run down this left hand side. Here's Clinton. Dances inside past Rule. And into Bize. Lovely little flick. Now James stands up towards the far post. A few Tottenham players arriving, but none quick enough to get on the end of that. Lovely passage of play though from the visitors. Really. Teasing delivery. Neither Spence nor Thomas nor Clinton able to latch onto the end of it. Cushioned by Bartrip into summoning. Tries to release Bizet, but Everard's going to scamper across to pick that one up. We'll take a few seconds out of the remaining first half time as well. It's Thoris Dott here. Now Pattinson. Bremer into Turland, intercepted. Bremer wants a foul, nothing given. Bar trip. Now space again for Neville. And a press forward under pressure from Simons, but her pass, who was essentially looking for Thomas in behind, is straight through to Nicky Everard. Here's Losada. And Rule. And Neville. Pressure there from Tigiotti. Spencer. Very composed under pressure from Elizabeth Turlin, the goalkeeper. Here's Spence. Skips away from Lasada. Drew Spence. Rolls the ball into Clinton. It's a good tackle between Rule and Clinton. Flags up for offside, though. Neither player knew that at the time, though. Neither player giving an inch, either. Everard towards Turland, the header again, no one by Artinen. A little bit of pressure on Oli Bartrip there, but redirects the ball back to the goalkeeper. Go Neville. Nudges it infield. Artinen sweeping pass over to the right-hand side to James to Thomas, to Artinet. Clinton, out to Bizet. Celine Bizet. Oh, she deflected towards James. Very nearly worked out in Spurs' favour. That looked like a shot from Celine Bizet. It just popped out to Ashley James. Taken then, summoning again towards the far post. 
header that can't quite be directed goalward. Spence has kept it alive though brilliantly. Turland doing a job in both boxes though, defended well. And now can Brighton counter. Here's the player that Brighton will want on the ball in a counter-attacking situation. The electrically fast Katie Robinson. Instead though decides to check back and give it to rule. Robinson again, Losada. Simons, Losada intercepted. A little bit of a battle beginning to develop between Drew Spence and Vicky Losada. Two players who have fantastic careers and fantastic careers at teams that don't like losing and don't lose very often. So that's one to keep an eye on. Here's Bartrip. It's into Artinen. Now Bizet. Clever kind of ball outside of the foot towards Arthur Thomas, but defended well by Aristotia. Summoning. Stepping forward. Spurs still knocking on the door. Marta Thomas defended well again, though. Thunderous tackle from Zigiotti. And Simons, actually, who got in first there. Thanks for a bit of break in play as we can check on Evelina Summoning, who was injured in that clash. And directly involved in six goals in the last six WSL starts. Evelina Summoning, four goals and two assists. Scored and assisted in that 3-1 win over Bristol City last weekend. on towards Bremer intercepted though a clever flick from Zigiotti couldn't find a teammate here's Bizet Turland's going to press Bula composure of Becky Spencer yet again flick around the corner from Spence looking for Clinton still going is Grace Clinton spin from Simons but never was equal to it and now running out of first half minutes to react before the break Zigliotti lovely turn Julia Zigliotti here's Maisie Simons towards Turland first touch was very nearly brilliant and Molly Bartrip just testing Becky Spencer yet again Really seen the composure personified on a number of occasions from the Spurs goalkeeper. There's Lasada. Now Robinson. Toes and throwing goes the way of the hosts. Rule sweeping across to Aristotle. Losada 
Final 30 seconds plus whatever the fourth official and match officials decide to add on. There have been too many stoppages in the first half, so I didn't expect some of the numbers we've seen already this season. Bergson. Everard. Two additional minutes to be added in this first half. Turland. To Simons. A tap on the ankles from behind from Grace Clinton will concede the foul. Sada leaves it for Bergson. The referee's consistently taken back a few paces. He's ruled. Bergson again. into turn and lovely turn. I think she was fouled, nothing given though, and even better turn in that occasion from Martin. Now could be a chance for Marta Thomas. Lovely first touch, lovely second touch, still going. Luckily for Brighton, Charlie Rule was aware of the danger and sweeping up behind because that was very nearly Marta Thomas on the score sheet for Spurs again and an equaliser for Spurs this afternoon as it stands though still Brighton Hove Albion lead through player on the ball now Elizabeth Turland great weave out of danger now Robinson hooked in comfortably claimed by Spencer who knows that time is against their team in the first half Spencer forward to Bizet dragged to Thomas and now Spence rattles the crossbar it's going to fall to Thomas and it's in brilliant passage of play from Tottenham Hotspur right on the cusp of half time Becky Spence nearly scores one of the goals of the season it pops back out to Marta Thomas who has made a habit of finding the back of the net since joining Spurs in the summer. She's done it again, and Spurs are level. What a hit that is from Drew Spence. Brilliant technique from Marta Thomas as well. Drills it low into the ground. Everard gets a glove on it, but unable to keep it out. Right on the brink of the half-time whistle. Tottenham Hotspur draw level. say on the balance of play they probably deserve to be going in level at half time Tottenham have pressed and pushed and eventually found a way through and that is the final action of the first half the host struck first the Amex was rocking when Elizabeth Turland nodded in at the front post after a brilliant delivery from Maisie Simons on the far side before right on the brink of half time Marta Thomas equalised for Tottenham Hotspur Half time at the Amex, it's Brighton Hove Albion 1, Tottenham Hotspur 1. Look at some of the highlights from the first half, and here is that opening goal from Elizabeth Turland. It's a lovely header, it really, really is. Just cushions it into the far corner. A brilliant open up. Just reliable source of goals for Brighton. Here we nearly had a second as well, striking from distance. Tottenham started to knock on the door a little bit and this bit of pinball very nearly found its way into the far corner from Artiken. Again, chances that weren't fully being taken advantage of by Spurs. Asada tried a luck from range. Before right on the brink of half time. Look at that for an effort from Drew Spence. Marta Thomas, wonderfully calm and composed and drives it into the ground, it bounces past Nicky Everard and 
right on the stroke of half time. Tottenham draw level. 45 minutes still to play. It will be an enthralling one. Not much to change these two teams last season. Looks like the same story this at the moment at half time here at the Amex. It's Brighton Hove Albion 1, Tottenham Hotspur 1. Excited, would say nervous, but nervous doesn't really suit me. So, yeah, excited. We're passionate about what we're trying to do. We know what we're going after. We know it's going to be tougher than it ever has been. So, um, very excited of what's to come. I'm feeling really excited and uh, curious in the new season to see how far we'll reach it with Chelsea. What excites me about this team is we've had very little disruption to the current squad. Being able to bring in Jill Rod, who's a top player. We have a, a new team together and I'm really excited to see how we can do in this WSL and looking forward to it. We've had a good pre-season so far, seven new signings who are bedded in well. It's going to take a little bit of time but we're really pleased with the performance levels. We've had some tough games in pre-season, tested ourselves against European opposition. I think it's going to be a big step up this year but I think we're riding the confidence of promotion and we're hoping to really carry it into this year. I'm looking forward to it. We've obviously got new players in, new manager in, fresh start. So yeah, I'm looking forward to the season starting. The team goal is to win trophies. Right now we have the cup to give everything for and the league. Uh, so of course we want to win trophies this year. Team goals for the season is to win. We want to be successful. We want to win trophies. We, we enjoy winning silverware. So that's got to be the aim. We're in it to win it. We just need to work and improve on, on what we did well the end of last season, compete with the top teams and, and be in and around it. If we can be even better in, in, in the aspects of keeping the ball, be good at dominating the games, uh, it doesn't matter if it's top four, if it's, it's the rest of the league, uh, we want to have our own identity and uh, so basically just building on that. I think it's just building on what we did towards the end of last season. We obviously have our internal goals, but as a team it will be looking to build on what happened last season, yeah. To be competitive, we want to make sure that we surprise teams and that doesn't necessarily mean in the obvious ways, it means in the fact that we've got ambition, grit, we want to prove our point, uh, we want to play football and uh, we want to make sure it's exciting for fans because they've been following us through this journey the last two years so I want to make it uh, just as enjoyable for them again. Ooh, definitely hard working. Ambitious. Is that the right word? Together. Quality. Driven. Funny. Passionate. Togetherness is one word. I think resilient as well. Relaxed. Good people. Passion. We love our fans, they're great. The fans should come down and watch us because we will leave nothing in the tank. We'll put it all out there, we'll work our absolute socks off. So please fans, come and watch us. We have a good team, we have a team that, that's passionate. And we, we've got some talented players at, at this football club and, and we're really looking forward to seeing what we can achieve this year. I really hope that uh, we in Chelsea can put out a show for the fans, uh, play some good football, show some winning mentality, both when it goes good, but we want to do it even better, but also when it's not that easy. I think that this season will be extremely competitive and yeah, there's no reason for the fans not to be there. We're playing against some of the best players in the world, playing against some of the best teams and it's our chance to make our mark. The fans should watch Arsenal because we play good football, we play exciting football, we want to score goals and we want to have possession and uh, dominate games. They rock um, Walsall time and time again. The support towards last season was arguably one of the best in the division. So get your tickets now guys. Our fans should, should look out for every uh, every new signing that we have made, uh, really interesting players uh, with different qualities. So yeah, watch out. Yeah, we're pleased with, with who we brought in. We what we wanted to do with this recruitment was make sure that we added strength and depth competition for places. We needed goals, so Sophie Roman coming in is, is a, a big part of that. We're looking forward to seeing how she settles in. Janice Kamen, I think she's very composed on the ball and then I'd also say Deanne Rose because she's got a lot of experience in the league and she's very quick. As I said, it's, it's a very, very new look side, a lot of new signings, but I think that's exciting. We're a new look team, but we're excited to show what we can do. We've obviously um, got to fifth spot for the first time, so I think what's different is the ambition and, and drive from the club is, you know, high from us and hopefully we can do well this year. New squad, we lost quite a few players last season, we've also got a new manager so I think our style of play will change 
maybe the formations that we play within that. Yeah, so quite quite a few changes. Last season was a really tough season, but it was almost just about surviving, whereas now we've got a fresh slate, so everyone's really excited. England. It's to be Williams. Oh, how about that? Good close control by four. There's her pace. That's it taking a clear of Ericsson who cut down on the angle. He gets a shot away. It's a ripper. Arsenal one shot, see one it was. And all of a sudden Arsenal are ahead. With a splendid Beth Me goal. It's well defended, but Damon got it back, and there's Daly to sweep it in for two. Debut goal for Rachel Daly, and we have a big shock on our hands here. Put it in first time, looking for sure again. It'll drop for Laura Coombs, 3-2. What about this from Manchester City? Much space here in midfield for Neville. Never will go for goal here. Oh, what a strike! What a goal! First day of the season for Spurs. And it's Ashley Neville lighting things up with a super strike. Hi, I'm Sandy. I'm Chiara. And, and this, this is Save Reacts. Rebecca Welsh takes the first look at the watch and Chelsea might be able to win it here. It's Sam Kerr, she's clean through. All right. Stopped Roll. by Roebuck. Big and strong yeah, she is. Yeah, made herself big. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh
that. Sam, that was a great team. Oh, thanks. Oh, I'm so like you, so like you didn't even just pull off a worldie. Oh, nice, nice. Thanks, Kiki. Fair point. We'll watch it again if we have to. <laughs> Roll ups again. Ooh. Oh, this is it. Oh, uh, yeah. I thought this would be the other one. Reaction. And she just. That is a vile. She's just a. <laughs> nah, she got one. Nah, that was a great reaction to you. Yeah, right on the goal line. Daily Robux show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember this one. Yeah, I do. yeah, it was like the Chelsea nice. one. Nice. Nice Roby. Great positioning. <laughs> I think this was, it was only like 1 0 this game or something. Thank you. <laughs> oh, shit, well to stay up there. Yeah, I would have been down. Why is she so open? Yeah. Great defending, but we're not going to touch that, are we? <laughs> but we shall. It's all about the same. <laughs> I, I can't even remember saying that again. Yeah. Sure, I'm not gonna show the goal. <laughs> oh. Nice, Kiki! Get out of here. I just get out of my house. Oosh! Sent to the shops. Nice, Kiki. Same big. Big. And up for the rebounds. Straight up. <laughs> Spots of Bailey Robot. <laughs> oh no. That, why did that yeah, that was that looked really weird. Ooh, again. Shot the get punch. Out, get out of here. We should get out more, shouldn't we? <laughs> That's you. I don't like that. Even that kit oh, I love that kit. Yeah. Nice oh, sound. no. I'll tell you what, I mean, not to make excuses, but <laughs> those mitre balls, when they're brand new, are so slippy. <laughs> Should be catching this, you know. Oh, that was great. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Oh, lovely. Well, <laughs> nice. Three clips between Wrapped us. up. <laughs> Substitutions for Mike and Alan Albino. Number three, Robin Patterson, is replaced by number nine, Gumi Lee. Number 11, Elizabeth Turman, is coming off and being replaced by number 21, Maisie Taylor. Welcome back to the second half here at the Amex. Brighton and Hove Albion host Tottenham Hotspur in the Barclays Women's Super League. It was the host who took an early lead through Elizabeth Turland. Neat header at the front post after a wonderful in-swinging corner. And then right on the brink of half-time, a half that Spurs will feel aggrieved to have not had anything in terms of 
to show for their efforts. Did get a reward finally. And they equalised through Marta Thomas. So that is why we are where we are. A goal apiece and ready for the second half. And a few changes which we'll run you through in a second, but Tottenham unchanged. Becky Spencer, Ash James, Molly Bartrip, Luana Bula, Ashley Neville. Spence summoning Artinen in the middle. And then Clinton, Thomas and Bizet as a front three as Drew Spence feels she's fouled there. Nothing given though as Morris dot it. And then three changes at half time for Brighton and Hove Albin. Poppy Patterson, the first one to be replaced by Liga Mint. Just runs away from Kenzie Robinson on the far side. Elizabeth Turland, who had the opener but had a heavily strapped right leg, has been replaced by Madison Haley. And then the third and final change for Martin Hovell, which will see a little bit of a reshuffle, we'd imagine. Sees Emma Kuhlberg come on for Maisie Simons. So that is why we are for three changes for the hosts. So they are Everard, Rule, Berg, Saund, Doris Dottier and Kuhlberg. And midfield three now of Lasada. Lee Zigiotti and then Bremer Lee uh, Bremer Robinson and Haley up front. Chance to try and get Bizet in behind. Plenty to think about at half-time for the Tottenham Hotspur coach and message across has clearly been one of an amount of pleasure. No changes at half-time, they've been on the front foot, they've played some good football at times but at the moment sharing the spoils. Lasada tries to hook it forward towards Lee but it's gone up for a throw which actually never will take. Here's Bartrip. Skips away from Lee. Marta Thomas does well. Neville. And Masada intercepted though. Summoning. Clinton. Tries to thrust it in, and is it going to fall to Bizet? Dances away from the tackle. Celine Bizet. And Drew Spence unable to follow up with any purpose. Quite heavily, Celine Bizet. Thankfully, she's back up on her feet. Here's Bergsall. Pushed forward, but headed back by Neville. Martin. Olga Artinen. That's a lovely first touch. Bizet. Didn't wrap her foot around it enough, and it will graciously gathered up by Gieverard. There's a Gyotti. Kuhlberg. Rule who's come over to this left-hand side. Everard. Bergsund. I mentioned the tricky run of fixtures that Brighton have got to come over the next few weeks. I feel even more aggrieved to concede right on the stroke of half time and 
could be on the cusp of conceding again, but Emma Kohlberg is equal to it. And, and the ball back with Everard. Forrest it. Rule. Into Losada. Switch of play with Robinson. Space to run into for Katie Robinson. And he's the target. Zigiotti as well. Halley with the header down. It's a good show in from Brighton though, and now with a little bit more of a focal point to aim for potentially in Mason Halley. Summoning. in away is Grace Clinton. Grace Clinton again. James out to Bize. Drew stood up well to the task of Celine Bize on that occasion. Back to immediately in by Martin. And it's going to fall to Neville. Tried the flick round the corner, Clinton. And gave the ball away. And now Lee. Towards Halley. And still stepping forward to Madison Halley. Nudges it wide to Vicky Losada. It's going to open up for Losada. Tried to clip it in towards Lee. Thought for a second she was going to shoot. And it's opened up again. Chance for Brighton to load one back in. Back to Halley. Just dragged it wide. The substitute. He's looked a real presence since coming on at half time, though. Sharp since her introduction. Martin. To Thomas. Trying to push the ball towards Bizet, but rule is equal to it. Now Losada. Now Doris Dottier. And Bergson. And the lapping run from Lee is found. It's a good delivery in as well. Bar trip, good header out though. Martin in. To Marta Thomas. Lovely little nutmeg there from Thomas and a clip ball over the top looking for Bize. Hoping for an offside flag, the Brighton back line. And they have eventually got one. High press that we've seen in effect this afternoon. Yeah. Very good at it. I mean, the league high so far, the force 43 high turnovers. And WSL coming into this fixture this afternoon, which for reference is 13 more than any other side. And usually, nine of those opportunities lead to a shot at goal, which is what they'll be looking for in the second half although Lee's very nearly nudging away and clipping at the heels but Neville did really well just to a body in the way prevent anything additionally from surfacing for Brighton Hove Albion his bar trip Summoning Spence now a bit of space on this near side for Spurs to try and exploit, try to nudge it into a dangerous area, but unable to. Celine Bizet.
is James. Marta Thomas has stride into the middle of the pitch to retrieve the ball. Gets it. Hartinen fires it back to Bula. Kick ball from James to Bartrip. Now Neville. Clinton with the overlapping run. Bergson does really well defensively though. And now Lee. Robinson was the pass. Intercepted by Neville. Summoning under pressure, nudges it back to teammate. Where the pass is straight to rule. Kohlberg under some pressure. Everard's got to be quick. Everard is quick. Here's Losada. Anderson Haley. Foul against right number 21. Spencer. James. Woods Thomas, one by Thor's Dotty. And Bergson. So Giotti turns into trouble and Spurs have got the ball back. Great feet from Grace Clinton. Great feet again from Grace Clinton. Now a bit of space for Marta Thomas who tried to just flick the ball into the path of Celine Bizet. off of Robinson for a Spurs throw in. in by Bremer, still going. Both teams feeling each other out in opening exchanges this second half. Still half an hour or so to play. Very different game to the one that was in bright home soil last season between these two. Finished 8 0 to Spurs. It's fair to say they're both two very different sides from then. Here's Drew Spence into Marta Thomas. Neville intercepted by Robinson. Now Lee. Robinson's switched the burners on. He's gone into the far corner. And Neville's kept up well. Lee again. Now Losada. A big spin. Haley. Back to Lee. Cannons off of Neville and it'll be out for a corner. Opportunity for Brighton to step one or two further forward and try and get a reaction. Took the lead through an in-swinging corner in the first half. An out-swinging one on this occasion, but it will be taken by the Brighton skip-up. It is Vicky Lasada. Stunned into an area towards Madison Haley. Really has been very lively since coming on at half time. There's everything right there apart from Nick Goldwoods. Fans in attendance this afternoon. And what was a sunny afternoon? It's turning into quite a 
crisp. Evening on the south coast. And the bar trip. Lee can get a toe on it. Neville kind of stundering into the tackle. Is it fairly? Here's Bergson. Maybe does well to hold the ball up. She was fouled one or two around her. No. Fairness to the Brighton 21. There was no appeal from themselves. High press again. Winning the ball back for Brighton in a dangerous area. Both Spurs immediately react and win the ball back. It'll be a tussle between Osada and summoning off the ball. Spoke about that battle in the middle of the park. Vicky Osada involved everywhere. Neville. Summoning. Martinen. Trying to wriggle away was Grace Clinton. Felt she was fouled, but definitely disagreed. Bergson. Past the hour mark. Still one apiece after a frantic end to the first half. Tottenham Hotspur. Equalising right on the cusp of it through Marta Thomas after Elizabeth Turland, who has now unfortunately departed the game, gave Brighton an early lead. And there's Bremer into Zigiotti. And now Lee. Robinson wants it, calling for it. Robinson gets it. Up against Neville. Tried to take the cross early. Deflected out for a throw in by Ashley Neville. And there'll be change for Tottenham Hotspur now it's Drew Spence who will be the latest to depart Jessica Naz who will replace her substitution for Tottenham Hotspur number 24 Drew Spence is being replaced by number 7 Jessica Naz thanks for Jessica Naz to make her impression on the game and Drew Spence has the long walk around the outside of the Amex. Nothing departed on the far side of the pitch. First opportunity for Naz to get on the ball. And here is Jessica Naz, the fresh legs. Immediately off the bench and immediately into the action. Up against Kohlberg. So run around the outside. Nods it back to James. His first time cross is a good one. Uh, potentially a foul at the far post between Bizet and... Robinson, nothing given. Here is Celine Bizet. Now Neville. Back to Bizet. Back to Neville. And cleared by Bergsund. Bizet again. Driving in field. Celine Bizet. Cutting in onto that right foot from the left hand side instead now. Already proved her valuable presence to this Tottenham team in the opening few weeks of the Super League season. Progressed the ball further than any other non defender in the WSL this season, which I think the stats can tell you everything because the eye test will do the rest. But we've seen already this afternoon how impactful she can be on the ball with her driving runs as it's a shot from distance and what a goal that is out of absolutely nothing Grace Clinton what a hit there seemed to be nothing on there seemed to be so many bodies in front of Grace Clinton and she unleashed a rocket Look how many players are in front of her. Look how many angles there are for her to try and navigate through before even working a shooting opportunity. She didn't need any of them. Took it early, rifles it into the top of the net. Tottenham Hotspur lead. 
sometimes games need a little sprinkling of magic. Well, there you go. From the right wand of Grace Clinton, Tottenham Hotspur from one down, find themselves 2-1 up. What a fantastic goal. A few shell-shocked faces around the Amex because it came out of the absolute blue. Seemed to be nothing on for Grace Clinton. What a finish. Here's Neville. Now there's a little bit of a different swagger about Spurs. They keep the ball brilliantly well at the best of times, but now something to protect, although Vicky Losada has nipped in and got the ball back. Now Lee. Brighton will feel a little bit hard done by. They've done some good work in this second half. Perhaps have had the better of the advanced showings despite neither team really creating a clear-cut chance and well as Grace Clinton showed you don't need a clear-cut chance sometimes you just need a little bit of genius that's what she's produced there's Rule into Lee Losada Nudged a little bit too far ahead of Berg, swarmed by Thoris Dottir. Naz. Had to sweep the ball across to James, but Bremer has nipped in. You need a little bit of Pauline Bremer's quality and experience now. Heading into the final. 20 or so minutes of the game here at the Amex. Likewise for Vicky Lasada, but her pass is intercepted by Bize, and then the goal scorer Clinton. Now Artinen. Still Olga Artinen. Summonen. Lovely switch of play. Celine Bizet even in field and try to nudge the ball onto Naz, but Nicky Everard will come out and scoop that one up for Brighton. Here's Kulberg. And Rule rolls the ball away from Arthur Thomas. Anderson Haley. Doris Dots here to Bergsund. Kulberg into Rule. Nudges it on to Bremer. To Giotti. To Bremer. Kulberg. Good passage of play from Brighton. Here's Zigiotti with a little bit of space. Turned down the opportunity to swing one in with the left foot. Instead, shuffles the ball back to Doris Dottier. Does stand one up towards the far post. It's a good header out. Only as far as Zigiotti. Chops in field. Yulia Zigiotti. It's a good chance. For a player of Zigiotti's quality, you can see how disappointed she is with her own attempt on goal there.
Here's Naz. Three on three for Tottenham Hotspur. Here's Bize. Well held by Everard. Quick counter attack though by Spurs as they need to start pushing players forward. Yotti. Now Lee. Now Robinson. That's a little bit of support and feels frustrated at a lack of support there. There's Katie Robinson. Here's Vicky Losada. Into Bremer. Back to Losada. Forced to go back though to Bergsund. Still plenty of time on the clock for Brighton to react. Robinson tries to spin Neville and then tries to you know, shepherd the space for Lee to run into. Masada, Robinson, Bergsund, Robinson, Lee keeps it in play just about. Doris Dott here, back to Guro Bergsund. Crosses the ball in towards Madison Haley. Molly Bartrip has to nudge the ball out for a corner. Maybe another Brighton corner. In swing up, very nearly caught Spencer out there. Somehow, Vicky Losada tried to swerve against the ball there, and it will be the last piece of action for the Brighton skipper, who will be replaced by Tatiana Pinto. Lasada. Last piece of action was to very nearly catch Becky Spencer out from that corner and then pass the armband on to Guru Bergsund. Number five now wearing the armband for the final 20 or so minutes as Tatiana Kunto comes into the middle midfield. Spencer. Now James, now Jessica Naz. Do keep the ball expertly well, Tottenham Hotspur. Front only Chelsea and Manchester City. More long spells and passages of play in the WSL this season in terms of Pass is completed. I think it tells you all you need to know about how this new look Tottenham team approach games and of course will be very heavily strengthened when they eventually get Beth England to return up front. There's Neville. Fizzed into summoning. Sweeps the ball out to James. Clinton just stumbles on the ball a little bit. And can't find a teammate. Now Brighton can try and throw something into this game. Although the, that pass from Thoris Dot here was light to say the least. Oh, to Thomas's eyes started to light up before Nicky Everard scampered out to rescue a teammate. Is Neville. Out to Bizet. Celine Bizet driving in field. Bizet. Deflected behind by Thoris Dottier.
applause for Marina summoning from the travelling Spurs support. She jogs over to take this in swinging corner. Plenty of options in the box for summoning to aim for. Bergson with a little flick on. It's just about enough. Is it going to come back to summoning? Lee gets there first. Lashed clear by Bergson. Out for a Spurs throw in. Double change for Tottenham Hotspur. Kick Graham is the first change for Céline Bizet. And the second change will see Rosella Ayan replace the player who has lit up this game in the second half with a thunderbolt that has Tottenham Hotspur in the lead. Grace Clinton to be replaced by Rosella Ryan. And rightly so, getting a big pat on the back from the manager. And less than 15 minutes to play here at the Amex and Spurs with the double change. There's a first opportunity to get on the ball for Ryan trying to find the substitute Graham. Lee. Naz. Bar trip. Summoning. Sweeping pass towards Jessica Naz, who's got a little bit of space on this near side up against Charlie Rule. Skips past Rule as well. It's a good delivery, but it's well held by Everard. Really well claimed by Nicky Everard. Bird's pass, unable to find Rule, and it'll be a Spurs throw in midway into the Brighton and Hove Albion half. Spurs looking for consecutive league wins in the same season for the first time since February 2022. They could be well on their way if Naz can find a teammate headed away. Last time they won two in a row, yeah, February 2022, and one of those two games came against Brighton and Hove Albion. It's a difficult division to navigate. If you can find consistency and if you can start to grind out results, it's a very good place to be, especially with the run that Spurs have got coming up. Maybe three wins on the bounce if you consider their Conti Cup exploits in midweek. 6 0 win over Reading. And then a few tests but some winnable fixtures lined up Liverpool and Everton in there Aston Villa as well Leicester City to play in a little while and on the flip on the flip side Brighton have got the toughest test of all to come both Manchester sides and Chelsea and Arsenal all to come in the next six or seven weeks here's Kit Graham tries to find Rosella Ayan does find Ayan Thomas Thomas Dottie stuck out a leg and managed to get in the way of the ball here's Robinson tries to play it forward looking for Madison Haley could be in here Haley bustling away through up against Bartrip does really well goes down Some of the Brighton fans think she's awarded a penalty, but in fact it will be a goal kick. Oh, two sections of the Brighton home support still unsure as to why they should be stop why they should be celebrating. Here's J 
James. Swept away by Bula. Intercepted though. Here's Rule. Pinto. Fresh eyes on proceedings as he's replaced Vicky Lasada in the last few moments. Here's Lee. Into Haley. Our trip equal to it though, and Neville can fire it into Naz. You know, Pinto has been able to nip in and win it back. Here's Rule. Pinto again. Kohlberg stands it up towards the far post, towards Lee and Haley, but it's headed away by Summoning and then Graham skipping away from one tackle. Now Ian. And the card for the substitute Tatiana Pinto. They are to see this game out. We'll bring to an end a, a dire run of games when conceding the first goal for Tottenham Hotspur. They win this in their last 19 games. 19 WSL games when conceding first. They've lost 17 of those 19. And they've lost their last nine away games after conceding the first goal. So this will be a real shift in not only momentum, but perhaps overcoming one or two mental scars that they've felt over the past few seasons. Certainly changing the direction of travel. Just had a new look to coaching staff, a new look to a number of the playing staff and perhaps a different attitude about this Tottenham Hotspur team as well. They've still got a job to do though, Brighton's still very much in this. They still feel their efforts should give them one more opportunity to be rewarded. Here's Robinson. Ian gets back. In the end, Robinson's bundled over by Neville. Graham looks to slide in. Marta Thomas Still going, Thomas. Angle's narrow, but she's still going, Marta Thomas. Tried to slide it back for Naz. Chance not over, though. Here's Graham. Ayan strikes from distance. Rosella Ayan. Really good breakaway. Good play again from Spurs. Graham and Ayan linking up towards the end of that move. Last 83 minutes on the clock. Time very much in the favour of the visitors now. Graham. Kuhlberg. Pinto. Pass very nearly caught out. Bergson. Diane's going to get there first at the second attempt. And the bright skipper does well. Here's Lee. Fired into Haley. Lovely little flip round the corner to Pinto. And now Rule. Zigiotti. Bergson again. Into Haley. And Robinson. Has to bob and weave away away from actually Neville with the help of Rosella Ryan though Spurs stop the danger momentarily though because Bergson's throwing finds Haley put away at the second attempt again by Artinen Bergson into Haley. It's really good driving run again from Robinson for another corner. Now 
another opportunity for Brighton to show what they did in the first half to take the lead and show well worked corner routine. This time it'll be an outswing and it's Julia Zigliotti who stands over it. Towards the near post, very nearly fell to Forrest Dotti. It's going to fall out to Pinto. Just nudges the ball on to Bergsorn. Reverse pass into Pinto. Forced to go all the way back to Kohlberg. Robinson towards Haley. Great first touch to bring it under control. Madison Haley has been a brilliant second half addition for Brighton Hove Albion. Obviously, only joined in the summer from Sydney FC, but already proving that she could be a real key player for Brighton Hove Albion going forward. And the evidence of this second half. And better with her on the pitch, certainly. And now. Coming up the other end with Jessica Naz. Kohlberg does brilliantly well, though. Naz looked like she was just about to skip away from Kohlberg, but defender just stepped across and did just about enough. Graham runs into trouble but comes out of it incredibly with the ball Graham and thought an overlapping run was happening from James it wasn't there that'll be a goal kick three minutes left plus whatever the officials decide to add on Brighton needing something here's Pinto very nearly caught in possession by Artin and Tatiana Pinto showing Great composure there, although that press has eventually been found out. Here's Naz. Artinen into Graham. Ayan. Driving to the byline. Still got the ball. Well, Katie Robinson does expertly well. Lee under pressure. Bergsorn. Back to Lee. Haley wins the second attempt, although, and the third attempt. Right, and starting to show they are scrapping for something. Though they need to retrieve the ball back off the visitors because Nicky Spencer has the ball all the way back in the Spurs penalty area now. Is Naz. ball around with such confidence this Tottenham team and James looking to release Thomas Doris Dottier does well former teammates of course at Manchester United Doris Dottier and Marta Thomas Lee Zigiotti. And she's popped out by Pinto. Change for Tottenham Hotspur is Rhea Percival. Martha Thomas after another goal to add to her name in Spurs colours. Her evening's work is done. She will hope that her teammates can see out the remaining moments of this match and secure hard fought three points. Martha Thomas replaced by Rhea Percival. And Diane. Martinen thrusts the ball over the top, looking for Naz. Flags up for offside. All eyes now eagerly awaiting a fourth official who lifts 
the board to reveal five additional minutes. Five added minutes here at the Amex. Five minutes for Brighton to find a reply. Five minutes for Spurs to keep them at bay. And Diane, a little flick around the corner, and now Graham. Spurs can surge forward. They're coming together off the ball there. It's left Naz in a heap on the floor. Now Robinson. Berg Saunders carried her run forward. Towards Haley. Lovely knock, knock back again. Here's Lee. Artinen tries to release Rosella Ryan. Asking a lot. Nicky Everard's going to get there first. And now Lee. Four minutes left. Bergsorn under immense pressure from Ayan and in fact the Spurs player can nip in front and win the ball back some of the Spurs players got a foul Brighton home fans are unsympathetic towards Rosella Ayan's discomfort and we're back underway here's Summonen Artinen Percival and forward towards Naz Kulberg's going to get there first flags up for offside though Rules intended pass has only found the Spurs player here's Naz now Graham there's space on the far side for Ayan Fired in towards Rosella Ayan. Up against Guru Bergsorn. To Olga Artinen. Summonen. Now Percival. There's the throw in. Game management that Percival brings has been brought on for clearly that exact reason. Does so well there to just eke out a few more seconds when a team are coming high up the pitch. Sigiotti does well though. And Bremer and really getting involved. Bartrip. Bula. Brighton high press very nearly comes off as Pinto comes within a whisker of winning possession back and now Naz could be away she's in a foot race with Kohlberg and Bergson still going Naz has support if she needs it tries the back heel at the second attempt and it's deflected in game set and match for Spurs Rhea Percival has only been on the pitch a matter of minutes she adds her name to the score sheet and cements three Tottenham Hotspur points here at the Amex. She owes a lot to the good work of Jessica Naz. Perhaps a slice of luck here as the first attempted back heel comes back off her own heel into her own path. And then Nikki Everard threw herself to the ground to try and make the stop. Bergson did likewise and deflection just popped the ball into the back of the net. Rhea Percival has Spurs third and has secured the third Spurs point. Three points going back to North London. Bremer. Skips away brilliantly into Haley. So close. Threw herself at it again. Very promising performance, second half, especially from Madison Haley. Lean Bremer involved there as well. It would be a chance for Spurs to take as long as they possibly can over this, knowing that the job is now all but done. 
Brighton have a tricky road ahead. Some tough tests to come. Today has been a tough test. It's been a battle. And it looks like a battle. They'll be on the losing end of. Past the five allotted minutes. Maria Thoris here will be allowed to restart play here. But that is all at the Amex. Brighton took an early lead through Elizabeth Turland, and usually when Spurs go behind, they don't win the game. However, this is a different look, Tottenham Hotspur team. This is a new era of Tottenham Hotspur. And my word, did they react well. An equaliser on the stroke of half-time from Martha Thomas before a wonder goal from Grace Clinton gave them an advantage in the second half. Brighton went looking for an equaliser, but as the gap started to open up right at the full-time whistle, it was Rhea Percival to put the game beyond the Seagulls. It's finished here at the Amex. Brighton and Hove Albion 1, Tottenham Hotspur 3. See how Brighton took the lead early on. Elizabeth Turland yet again on the score sheet. She was in a reverse fixture at the end of last season between these two and nodded Brighton into an early lead. The sun was out, the Seagulls were shining. And on a stroke of hard time, Drew Spence rattles the crossbar between before Martha Thomas stroked in the equaliser. An equaliser that Tottenham were deserving on their first half performance. Second half, this is the moment out of nothing a rocket from Grace Clinton phenomenal finish from the Manchester United Loney rifles Spurs into the lead yellow card for Tatiana Pinto who performed well coming off the bench Brighton made a real battle of it in the second half as the gap started to open up towards the end of the game final few seconds Rhea Percival find in the back of the net after Jessica Naz's hard work it was a game all right it was a good game of football both teams have got tricky runs ahead and a good battle on the south coast it's finished at the Amex Brighton and Hove Albion one Tottenham Hotspur three